let's do a quick demo of how to build um, a lock that uses the guild hook for a very specific use case. Let's say my use case is I've deployed a membership contract and I want only people that follow me on Twitter to be able to mint one of the memberships, to purchase one of the memberships. So let's go get, uh, let's go ahead and use the unlock contract uh, deployer uh, to actually go ahead and do this. So I'm going to do uh, my Twitter follower. Uh, that's how I'm going to call that contract. It's going to have an unlimited uh, validity duration, an unlimited number of membership for sale. And let's make it free uh, for simplicity. Let's click next and then looks good to me. At this point, I will just go ahead and deploy the contract. While this is deploying, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go to Guild and uh, create a new Guild. So Guild.xyz uh, is a tool that allows you to create what they call Guild, which is basically a group of people that match a certain criteria that uh, satisfy some requirements. So I'm going to create a Guild here and I'm going to create a Guild without a platform. Uh, I'm going to go for the start from scratch option here. Uh, click next. And at that point, I'm going to create uh, put a name uh, for the guild. So uh, the unlock uh, followers. Um, I mean, this guild uh, is for um, followers of unlock protocol on Twitter. Um, cool. I'm going to go ahead and create the guild. Once this is done, so once the, the guild has been created, I can now go ahead and change the requirements. Um, requirements here, uh, I'm going to untoggle free entry, and I'm going to satisfy all the requirements, which is going to be one, which is uh, to uh, follow a specific user, and that specific user is going to be unlock protocol on Twitter. And I see that the uh, guild is loading the right icon here, and I'm going to go ahead and save. Now that this is saved, the guild is ready. Uh, what I can do now is go back to the unlock uh, page and I can start managing the contract that I've just deployed. From here, what I'll do is uh, go to the settings and click on advanced uh, and set up a hook. Here, I'm just gonna go and choose the guild hook. And in the list of hooks that I have, uh, sorry, of guild that I've deployed, I'm gonna select the unlock for guild. At that point, I'm going to go ahead and click Apply to save that setting. Once this is done, we're going to be all set. Right, we're taking where we left off. I have created a checkout URL. You can find uh, how to do that in our docs. The checkout URL uses, obviously, the lock that we deployed a couple of minutes ago. Uh, first step here, I'm going to connect my wallet. Um, and you see here, my wallet uh, is connected and I will sign a message to continue uh, using the sign-in sign in with Ethereum method. Um, connected, I click on next, and you see immediately that uh, my address is not uh, on the guild that was created before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click join the guild, and I end up on this page. Uh, my wallet is already connected from before. I'm gonna click on join the guild, uh, check access, and you will see here that uh, you are not eligible uh, to um, uh, connect probably because I don't follow the unlock account already. So I'm going to go see the requirement and say, oh, please follow unlock protocol on Twitter. Uh, I've prepared that page handy here. I'm just going to click, go ahead and click follow. Uh, and you will see now that I can uh, go back on this page, um, join the guild. Um, guild is going to verify this. Uh, this time it marks that I've successfully joined the guild. Uh, and so I'm back on this page. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a, an easy way to uh, refresh that information yet, uh, but I can just refresh the page here uh, to go over the same flow, and you'll see this time it's verifying, and ta-da, I am indeed a member of the guild. I can click on continue here and go ahead and uh, you know, proceed with my claim of this free NFT. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it, um, and I will go inspect that transaction inside of the Block Explorer uh, to see that indeed, um, the transaction uh, was successfully mined. I had to wait a couple of seconds here, probably not too much more than that. Um, and we didn't want to insist on this, even though we do block on the UI, there's also the same limitation at the smart contract level. The smart contract will actually verify um, uh, via a data attribute that um, my uh, address um, is on the guild. Uh, and if it does, uh, then we'll let the mining successfully, which we just, just did here. 
Uh, let's refresh. Uh, and if, if this scan is a bit slower than, uh, than we want, uh, but we can actually go here and click show the details and you'll see uh, that a data uh, is passed here. And for technical details, this is a signed message, a proof uh, that I'm a member of the database. But I did not supply this as part of my transaction. Uh, the transaction could have failed. And obviously this message is unique for the CPM. So if you copy that for another transaction, it won't work. It will only work uh, for uh, that specific recipient, which is my address. So that wraps it up uh, for the demo today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see what you end up doing with the Guild book. Bye.